What's up everyone, hope you guys are doing great. This short video is on the topic of Sarada's role in Boruto 2 Blue Vortex. So far over the last 4 chapters, I think Kishimoto has done a great job of setting up a foundation to where definite roles is being set and the lines between good and evil is being drawn. Sarada, as we all know, aspires to be a Hokage, and not just any Hokage, but a Hokage similar to Naruto, since she shares a lot of Naruto's ideals and visions, and it's the world that you know, she loves. Currently in Boruto 2 Blue Vortex, she comes across as fiery and driven because all that she believes in and stands for is at odds with what she sees every day, such as Shikamaru as Hokage and Kawaki being seen by the village as an Uzumaki and Boruto as the outsider who is responsible for Naruto's death. Sarada over the last four chapters has shown that she's on Boruto's side and doesn't share the same vision as Shikamaru or Kawaki and isn't afraid to say as much. But also we get to see her displeasure at how things have changed since Naruto was Hokage and with the recent introduction of the four sentient claw grimes, I think this divide will start to grow even more, with my prediction being either Sarada leaves the village as well and teams up with Boruto and Kashi and Koji or goes to another village or you know another place to get stronger, learn new things in order to become that kind of ninja who can protect her ideal and vision similar to Naruto. Does that mean new teachers? or new places that we haven't seen yet, hey, it's possible. But it's also important, important that Sarada grows and develops since her character motivation is to be a Hokage. And I know that there are critics who point out that her character is in love with Boruto and that's a motivating factor for why she's on Boruto's side. And heck, that could be a possibility. But honestly, I believe that Kishimoto is trying to set Sarada up to assume the role of Hokage, something that no Uchiha has done before. And since her character's inception, Sarada has been um, portrayed as someone who is super serious and someone who doesn't take their responsibilities lightly, whether it's her being a guinea or whether it was her, you know, during a tuning exam and how um, she was um, serious in her um, preparation and approach, or whether um, it was when she was given the task of leading Team 7. She's always been somebody very dedicated and somebody who's very um, goal driven and motivated. And the bigger picture here would be Sarada wants to follow Naruto's footsteps and Boruto wants to support that since he draws inspiration from Sasuke, hence why Boruto and Sarada make a good team without even the romance element. Another question down the line would be how does Mitsuki fit in all of this and how is he going to overcome his hate for Boruto or the realization that he's been beside Kawaki who's responsible for all his anguish. I think that plot point is going to be very interesting down the line but all in all I think with how Boruto 2 Blue Vortex has started, Kishimoto is setting up the foundation to where the likes of Sarada and Boruto and those who share the same ideals and visions will go up against those who don't agree with that vision such as you know a Shikamaru, a Kawaki, Ko or anybody else for that matter since it's clear that with Kawaki's wish everything is upside down and with the four new sentient claw grimes things are going to be more hectic and chaotic in future, future chapters and Sarada as the main female lead character in the story she's going to be playing a very important role in those chapters with Boruto over the last four chapters having the chance to show off his new arsenals of weapons I expect other characters will get that chance in particular Kawaki but more importantly Sarada and Mitsuki as well I would love to hear what you guys think about this topic Please share your thoughts and opinions, leave a like and subscribe and enjoy the rest of your day.